Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the XR Club and welcome to today's video. What we're going to do in today's video is an advanced VLOOKUP and we're going to combine VLOOKUP with a text function. Now before we really get stuck into this video, you can get a copy of this data over on our blog and I'll drop a link to that below this video. So do go over and copy this data so you can practice along with this activity. You'll also find in that blog post, if you are new to VLOOKUPs, a more detailed post on how to carry up VLOOKUPs. And you'll also find further explanation on using text functions. So do head over and have a read of that blog post because it contains an awful lot more detail than this video alone. So what is exactly we want to do in this video? Well, we have some stock codes and we want to be able to pull in the area in the warehouse where we would find that stock item. Now we have a lookup table and the lookup table contains a code and it contains an area and it's this area that we want to pull in over here. Now the stock codes can be broken down into three different parts. The first three characters represents the supplier. The fourth and fifth character represents the area code in the warehouse. So this 45 would represent the same code over here. And then the last three characters represents the name of the product. And we wish to pull in the area for each stock item. Now in the blog post, as I said, it goes through some of the text functions. And the text function that we need in this case is mid. Let's just have a look at the mid function. So the mid function first looks for a piece of text. With the mid function, what you're able to do is extract text from the middle of a string. So you need to identify whereabouts you want to start within the string to extract text from. And we want to start at the fourth character in this case, which is the number four, it happens to be the number four. And we want to go for two characters. Now, when we do this, we're returned with 45, but you see the way that 45 is aligned to the left? Well, that means it is still text. And if we want that as a number, we must add a zero. You see how there it then moves to the right. So don't forget when something is aligned to the left, it's usually text. And when it's aligned to the right, it's usually a number. So now we know how to extract the area code. So we could use this now combined with a VLOOKUP to pull in the actual area, not the code. So let's delete this and let's start our VLOOKUP formula. And again, if you go to the blog post, there are details on how to carry up a VLOOKUP step by step. So we can start with VLOOKUP. And first it's looking for our lookup value. So this is the value that we wish to look up. Now we know that we need to use the mid function to extract it from this text string. So we can pick our text string and our start number, as we seen earlier, is the fourth character and we want to pull two characters. Now that on its own is going to give us text and we don't want text, we want a number. So we need to add zero. Then it's looking for our table array. Now we know from the VLOOKUP function and learning the VLOOKUP function that our text array, our table array is the table in which we want to look up the data. After this, and I'm going to actually lock that in by pressing F4, which will add the dollar signs to lock it in. So when I fill this formula down, the table stays in place. Then it looks for our column index number. Now that's which column of the table do we want to return the data from? Well, we don't want to return the data from the first column because that will just give us the code. We want the area, so we want the second column. And then it looks for an exact match or an approximate match. And we want an exact match. And we can close our bracket and hit return. And you see there now it's pulled in row two because that stock item can be found in the second row of our warehouse. Now, if we fill that formula down, and I'm gonna press F2 to reactivate the formula, and you can see 
that it has pulled the stock code down when I pulled the formula down, but the table got locked in and did not move. Now, another quick thing I want to show you is formula text because formula text will actually show you the formula that you have used in a particular cell. So now you can see the formula quite clearly there for that particular cell. So that's how you can combine a VLOOKUP with a text function to use a string of text, part of a string of text as a lookup for in a lookup function. And again, please do go and have a read of the blog post and don't forget that the data is there. It's available for you to copy and paste. And if you partake in the comment section and post your solution to this, you can earn some rewards for doing so. So do hop over to the blog. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye now.